Hello everyone. So today in this video, we are going to see how we can auto populate the field value from one field to another field in Dynamics 365. So suppose here, if we have any form, okay, if I'm going to create a new form, let's suppose this is an account form. And if I give, uh, uh, let's say first name, first name, if I give resumes, then here in the last name, I want to populate the same value. Or suppose if I give a primary contact some uh, Dynamics power, then another lookup, we have text lookup. So the same thing should get populated. I should not come and uh, fill the value manually. Same thing, we have uh, this main phone, other phone, all these things, we are going to populate it. So there are different ways to populate the value. Like we can use workflows, plugins, JavaScript, Power Automate and business rules. And there are other ways as well. So if you go with the plugins or JavaScript, uh, these things we need to write the custom code, we need to uh, add the event, all those things. So better to go with the business rule. So here you do not need to know the coding. It's very easy to drag and drop and set the conditions. So now here uh, we have different kind of, uh, here itself you can see this is single line of text here, this is lookup field, here uh, this one is number, uh, some will be date field. So there are different type of data, data type data type of field so uh, if you want to map the field from lookup to uh, this first name this is single line of text it is not possible with the business rule so maybe you need to go with the uh, plugins or javascript for that but today we are going to see map the field with the same type like from the lookup to the lookup from uh, single uh, text to the text from the number to the number okay now this is very easy scenario now there are scenario where if you want to, we have the uh, field called option set. In option set, suppose you have a uh, drop down called apple, banana, cat, anything. Th that time you cannot map the value with the business rule or, or anything. So in that way, we, we can use the power automate. So for that, here I have already created one video. If you want to do that, this is power automate. So we have to create a switch case to map the value of option set value. So uh, you can just refer this video uh, for field mapping. This is specifically for drop down. In a, a, another video also is for field mapping only where we are mapping the field fr from one entity to another entity. This is contact entity. This is case entity. This is lead and opportunity. So here I, we have used the out of the box feature called field mapping. So for that also you can refer this video. I'll just put in the description. But today we are going to map the field only within the entity, within the entity. So for that, we are going to create a business rule. So let's start. Here we have the solution called August solution. And uh, let's, this is the entity. So open it. I'm going to create a business rule for this. So business rule. Let's open this first. Uh, the form is information right we have different forms as well so I'm going this is on information so let's open this one edit and now I'm going to write this the write the logic for populating the field value so uh, now just click on the business rules and here if there is any existing business rules it will be visible here itself currently there is no any business rule so click on the new business rule and now I'm going to give this uh, so first I want to check this one uh, I want to populate populate this test lookup if there is any value then I'll populate in this one primary contact so this test lookup should be populated in the primary contact same way we are going to set for the main phone to other phone okay so now coming to the business rule here, let's first check the entity account. Okay, first one is our test lookup, right? So let's see if it contains any value. Test lookup and uh, contains data. If it contains data, so test lookup contains data, then we are going to map the field so set field value this is for auto populating and set primary contact here i'm going to select for the primary contact where is it this one and the value i'm going to set for the field 
it should be test so what we are doing here and remember one thing whenever you are doing any changes uh, click on the apply button otherwise uh, nothing will be saved you have to do it again so we are saying if test lookup contains data primary contact will be populated to the test sorry uh, this test lookup will be populated in the primary contact now we are going to see another condition for uh, main phone right so let's copy the name here main phone main phone contains data If it contains data, then I am going to set the field value of other phone in same. So set field value. Set other phone as main phone. Okay. And in this one, other phone, I am going to set the field value as main phone. Okay. Apply it. Now here it's, it says, you can see, if test lookup contains data, then primary contact will be taken, uh, will be populated from the test lookup. Same way, if main phone contains data, then other phone should be populated from the main phone. Now I'm going to set it for all forms. Click on save. There is one issue with this business rule that I am going to show you. Let me first activate it and let's see if it's working or not. activate it the same way we can do with the business uh, sorry with the power automate as well so whenever uh, if someone is giving the value in in the for in the primary contact or in the main phone uh, once the record is saved that power automate will be triggered and the field will be populated here but it may take some five to second five to ten seconds for uh, triggering that power automate that's why we are using business rule because here it will affect instantly as soon as you enter the value it should populate so let's refresh it and check if it's working or not so let's give the value this one as test and the main phone let's give two, three four let's see here okay it is not working let me just refresh it Okay, let's give the value of test account as Dynamics Power. Sorry, Dynamics Power. Here you can see it is populating instantly. Suppose if I'm uh, if I give for the main phone as one, two, three, four, five. Okay, it is not populating. Let's okay. One second. Let's see what is the business rule. Here we have if main phone contains data then other phone okay here it should work actually let me just refresh it and give the value for main phone it is populating here same way we can check for the test lookup as well so if i give any value like test one it is populating here now the problem is once it have value it is setting up now suppose if i remove the test value still we have this value okay now suppose if i remove this value still this value is there so this is not user friendly if i am remo removing this field value if this field values also should get removed so for that what we need to do is in the business rule we need to set the condition that if this does not contain any value this one should be cleared the value should be cleared otherwise suppose if there is a record okay and if i'm giving the value as test one now saving it ignore and save and later on let's say i do not want this test lookup so i'll just remove it so if i'm removing this the, this also should get removed but currently it is not removing it's not removed so for that let's go to the business rule let's deactivate it and now we are going to set the clear value okay so here uh, set the value it should be here Actually, you should be able to set it here, but let's keep it here itself. 
clear the value here and I'm going to clear which value <coughs> we are setting up primary account and other phone right so primary account primary account we are going to clear the value clear primary primary value apply it and same here let's set the value for this as well phone okay so it is other phone i'm going to clear the value let's see if it's working or not and what does this say if it contains data main phone contains data else clear the value okay activate it so it may take some time to come into the effect as it's working in the background so wait come to the app let's refresh it going to create a new account now and in the test lookup let's suppose if we are giving the value as dynamics power it is populating that is working fine and here if i give this one here also it is populate it should populate not sure why it is taking time let's just refresh it and here now once I save it now once I remove it this value also should get removed that is our target right now so once if I remove it's not getting removed let's see why it is so and here also if I remove this one so maybe the business rule is not okay now it is working it may take some time so you have to give a hard refresh it is working correctly only as expected so I'm giving the value here as dynamics power and now if I'm removing it here it's getting removed if I'm getting the if I'm giving the value anything in main phone same thing is happening it's getting removed here okay if I'm removing it it's getting removed okay so this is all about populating the auto populating field value from one field to another field so this one we checked with the uh, this number field we can the same same works with the text field <clears throat> and whenever you try to do map the primary contact this lookup with another text field then you not get the option itself so let's uh, let me show you that as well deactivate it and here uh, let's suppose this is lookup right and if I try to set the field value, this look up to any other value, then it will not allow me. Okay, if let me just create another condition here, okay, and in this condition, I'm going to put that if account name has a value, okay, then I want to populate. I want to populate primary contact let's give the same if I'm selecting primary contact then here it will not show me uh, another field wait see we have the field called uh, first name last name full name here you can see this last name full name these all are text so it is not showing those fields here that's what I mean to say if you are selecting a looker field you can map it only to the looker field not to any other data type so that's all about uh, today video if you have any doubt you can uh, put in the comment i'll try to resolve it uh, and in a, another video i'll show you how we can map the same <coughs> using power automate and one more thing uh, like if we are having this first name as ras and something this one so i want to concatenate both the names and i want to put in the full name full name same thing populating but concatenating both the fields and uh, populating in full name so that one i'll be covering in the next video thank you so much